just over a month. And then I'm going to be serving the Lord. And so the whole process begins. We are home, and I'm running up the stairs. So, this whole video is gonna be a little bit different. This is over the course of like probably three months or so. A lot of you guys are very interested and confused and have a lot of questions about the process of leaving on a mission, how that all works. There's a lot of questions about my YouTube channel, my clothes, like where everything's going, all that kind of stuff. And so I figured I would bring you guys along on this journey. I don't really know what I'm doing either. This is my first time. Luckily, my dad has served the mission so he can kind of help and we kind of just go bit by bit, you know? So I figured I'd just take you guys along with me, kind of show you guys the preparation, how crazy it can be, um, exciting, lots of fun things. So this is kind of the start of me heading out on a mission for a year and a half. It's I, It comes in waves when it like shocks me of like what I'm actually doing and like, how crazy it is, but all in all, I'm very excited. To start this off, I am going to be packing all my clothes. So I just unpacked everything from the car. So that's the pile of clothes for the summer that I might wanna bring on a mission. And this is everything I'm not bringing on a mission that I am going to be vacuum sealing and putting into storage. I have a very large amount of clothes, but here's the thing. I've already downsized a ton. Like every time I'd get new clothes from back in college, I'd always downsize stuff. Everything, all my clothes that I own right now, are things that I know that I will use. And so, it's kind of hard for me to downsize now because, I mean, like I said, I'm really using all this stuff, so. Here we go. Let's get started. I got everything in here. I got two bags there, two bags there. I need to organize all this. We got some shoes of bo boxes of shoes under there. This is where we're at right now. That's all the clothes I was hoping to wear over the summer and then stuff I was gonna bring on the mission. So I have to, <laughs> I have to figure that one out. We're gonna hang them up, so we'll get started on that. <laughs> And we are already back, and I haven't done any of my Visa stuff. To be fair, our printer's broken, so. I texted somebody asking if they had a printer I could borrow, and now I'm going to write down and find all of the papers that I need to actually print, because I have a ton. It's gonna be exciting. Okay, I just realized I have to actually go into my missionary email, and I have to start working on my Visa, so look at this. Google sheet of my Visa documents, so. Okay. I'm gonna write down all the things I need to do. And so the whole process begins. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out. Got everything kind of organized. I'm gonna print stuff and get that done this week. And now I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, I just got back. I just got all my papers. Look at this, y'all. There's a ton of them. We're about to fill out my accurate biometrics applicant information form. So, here we go. We're finally getting stuff done. I've got 71 days, look. 71 days, y'all. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, it's been a second since I've been on here. For you guys, it's been like one millisecond, but for me, it's been like a little bit. We just got back from a fun trip, and I still haven't done my visa stuff. Ha oh, ha, that's so funny. I'm gonna print everything out and get that prepared tomorrow. Anywho, but we are currently writing down all of the items. I'm basically making a packing list for the next 18 months, which is kind of crazy because it's saying eight outfits, and that's how much I'd bring for a two-week trip. This is going to be fun, <laughs> but... Pajamas, shower sandals, a laundry bag. Yep, you're going to need it. Do I really? Can't I just make it out of something I have there? Like a trash bag? They, you, what if you don't have trash bags? What if you don't have plastic? Plastic? What if they don't have plastic? This is a another country, honey. You have no idea what they're gonna have. <laughs> okay. It's like I'm going camping for a year and a half. A thermometer? See, all these things are things I would never pack on a trip. So I'm like, why, why do I need a hamper? I just stick it back in my luggage. I need to bring towels. This is so weird to me. <laughs> Gmail. Let's go. We're getting our fingerprint printed. Whatever. Big bulky stack of papers, y'all. I'm chewing. Okay, yes, I did change. We were filming a video and we had to wear toa, toa gear. So, go and check out Toa gear. These shirts are actually so cute. Anyways, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys while I was uploading a video. I've been talking to my friend because I've been so, and this is like kind of personal, but for, for a while, like ever since me and Jotham broke up, I've been so like, I like being single. Like this is my time to be single. And I know that like, this is a great time for me to learn myself, like who I am for myself and really start to like gain those qualities in myself that I want to be stronger in when I get married. And like basically take this time to strengthen myself so I can be the best person I can. So when I meet somebody, I am eligible and like I'm in that stage and I'm ready to like get into that because I feel like all these guys that I've dated it's all been like I haven't been completely ready because I still run into like issues and stuff and so I want to be completely ready so like I've been I've been very like oh like being single right now is great like I love being single because like being single has been fun there have been times like today where I've gotten so antsy and so like oh like I I wish I could like be dating someone I'm at that stage I feel like where <laughs> All of my friends are either getting married or they're going on missions. Like I'm at that stage where we're like starting to take our lives into our own hands and like really like go somewhere with it. You know what I mean? I just see all these people who are happier getting giddy about a boy that's like they're talking to and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, like that'd be so nice to like be in that stage, you know? And that's that. We're about to go and watch Jurassic Park with the family. And I'm gonna get ready for bed. driving around everywhere because I didn't get like direction directions right they're like turn here on here on here I'm like I've never been here this is all new to me and this campus is brand like it's it's new now so anyways that was very stressed but oh my goodness gracious just got that finished finally that was so stressful now i have to get all these things notarized and sent in for my visa but i think i'm gonna need to send this in to get like a background check done i gotta do that asap so it's a good thing we have a couple more weeks but we only have a few more weeks so praying and crossing our fingers that we get it in on time so Okay, you guys, I feel like most of this video is me right here on my desk, but I am currently on Quizlet and I am literally writing down all of these and um, I'm just doing that so that I can start memorizing them because like so many of these words we use every single day and like they're used in almost every single sentence and so knowing them is very important. guys it is the next day no two days later I just finished getting my fingerprints done I am currently trying to figure out how to get my documents apostled and notarized we gotta go through all the documents that we've got right here we're gonna see which ones need to be apostled which ones need to be notarized and we're gonna go do that this week 
Clelia is actually going to go get that done. I'm getting closer. I'm going to get documents notarized tomorrow, so I'll see you then. We just got here, and I got all the documents, and I'm very nervous because, okay, I just found out. I was reading through it one more time, and it says, make sure to get your documents po apostled in the same place, in the same state that your notary is registered. I got one of my, I got my seminary transcripts notarized in Virginia, and I got my Finney, Finney letter notarized here in Utah. So crossing our fingers, pray that it works out, because I might have to go and, like, get all my seminary documents redone, and I have no time for that, so. Ah! This is why you don't procrastinate, kids. Let's go. Okay, so everything was closed. We tried to go and do it through the machine and it wasn't working. Like it kept finding these other freaking addresses. It wouldn't find the address that I wanted. I was getting so stressed because I also had like five other old people behind me. And I was like, I'm sorry, you guys. I just, this, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really know how any of this stuff works. That's why I usually ask my parents for help. We are gonna go head back home and we're gonna try it again tomorrow. Hopefully they're open. Hello, 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 my beautiful people. It is the next day, which means round two of trying to go and get my documents shipped out. I hope today is not a holiday. I should actually check and make sure the USPS store is open. We made it. We're gonna go do big kid things and I'm gonna feel so much better after because I will have accomplished a task that was supposed to be done a month ago. Here we go. We did it. We were big kids. Now the real question is if it's going to make it there because okay while I was getting these documents like done and like I was trying to find everything and research it was like just so you know we are not um, in charge of your documents um, getting lost in the mail so if they get lost in the mail then sucks to suck it so I was yeah, like that has all your personal info. Crap. I am getting very, very close to my mission. I have, let's actually look it up, 40 days left until I start my mission. I have just over a month, and then I'm going to be serving the Lord for 18 months. That is so, so crazy. I have been doing nothing but preparing for my mission, and I don't know if you can tell, I'm just so happy. So yeah. I can't wait. Okay, um, it's been a little bit and I'm currently writing out, I had tutoring today and we did a language study plan. So I'm writing out my study plan right now. Okay, you guys, I am back from a trip and I got a bunch of different documents in the mail that I guess are a part of my turning in for my visa. However, because I wasn't here, some things got a little mixed up. I'm not sure what is being sent back, what is out, what is still needed. So I'm a little stressed. I am gonna cry. The baby's crying for me. <laughs> I was gone out of the country and had our, our worker turn in some of the documents, which was so nice of him to do. So like, it's not his fault at all. But, so basically, I got them apostled in here in Utah. They sent me back everything that was authenticated, basically. And uh, they sent back the funny letter. So that's supposed to be done because that got authenticated. But they sent the transcripts and the funny letter without the sender's mailer address thingy. <sighs> so basically my documents are just going back and forth across the country, but.